our second online casino. Um, so just to give you an overview of PhilWeb, as of this morning, we're at 41 games locations nationwide. Uh, and our network now has 1,600 gaming terminals. There are an additional 15 locations approved for conversion. So by roughly middle of June, we should have about uh, 56 uh, outlets. And now, um, Fiverr has approved hybrid gaming locations, which means that both PhilWeb and ISD software can operate within the same Fiverr license venue. Um, a separate uh, performance cash deposit is posted with Fiverr for each uh, service provider who can provide assistance in this uh, area if needed. Um, I want to show you our performance metrics for Q1 2018. Uh, as you can see from the, from the uh, graph above, uh, our build-up daily GGR is just under 100,000 pesos. And on the competition, the average daily GGR is running at about 82,000 pesos, which means that we are better than competition by 80%. And if you total this up over the uh, 30 days of the month, or the 31 days of January, that's 122,000 pesos more in operators' commission than uh, so our average GGR per terminal is running now 2,000 pesos, uh, which exceeds the August 2016 e-game network average by 20%. The August 2016 e-game network average by 20%. Um, This is also uh, one of the things that we wanted to point out to uh, operators. It's the case of uh, our uh, big game and how it uh, how it, uh, it, it had its experiences with IST over uh, the, the year 2017. Um, from January 2017 to March 2018, uh, we experienced a gross hold versus GGR variance with uh, our running IST. Um, and that variance, uh, December, January, February, March, when we were running our own system, the variance, as you can see, is, it can be measured as 178 uh, pesos in, in January, uh, 151 in February, and in March it was 700 uh, pesos, 762 pesos and 50 centavos. So those are the very, very minor variances that we're, we're seeing in our system uh, when we measure GH versus GGR. As compared to um, the graphical representation, January to November, when we ran it under IST, where we would have as much as a million pesos of, of variance in one month. Our total GGR variance for January to November 2017 was a total of 4 million pesos, which, which um, IST has still not reconciled with us. Let, uh, let me now focus on Viva Las Vegas because we really are looking forward into the future and, and, and we're very excited about launching this new casino. Um, um, it's our second casino after Magic Macau. And this second casino is powered by our friends from Habanero. Um, and, and we are using Habanero for really two things. One is, um, one is for the new casino games that they can bring, but also we are gonna be using their platform to deliver a single wallet um, for all of our players. We're also interfacing Habanero with our own POS, uh, Kronos POS, and our uh, membership system. Give you an idea of the architecture of Viva Las Vegas. It's an open, flat, uh, open platform that allows for fast integration of gaming software products from multiple content providers. This means that using that same platform I can deliver any number of casino softwares into the same single wallet. So you're not gonna see icons on the desktop. You're gonna see everything go into the Habanero platform. And, and we're not gonna just stay with online casino softwares because at some point, what you don't want to see is another slot machine game. We wanna bring uh, sports betting in here, uh, virtual games, and then a variety of other gaming facilities into that same platform so that our players will grow. There will be more players that will come to our, our outlets 
and will be uh, using the same Habanero platform to play a variety of, of, of games. Um, I guess that's the single back end, that's the second point there, which um, uh, we have found, even in the, in the two weeks that we've been operating Habanero, we're very happy with its accurate accounting and transaction reporting. Um, the last bullet there um, is a very technical bullet, it's uh, called HTML5, which is, a, I guess, it's just a, uh, instead of using a download version, which is what you're currently um, using in, in your store, uh, HTML5 is a pure web interface. Uh, so this would lower our hardware and network requirements over time. And uh, this also means that content can be distributed across several platforms, which include desktop, uh, tablets within the stores and others that we will be delivering as we go along. What you can look forward to with Habanero um, is a much richer gaming experience as opposed to Magic Macau. Expect to see new content and gaming verticals that are going to be brought to Viva Las Vegas. These uh, new verticals will appeal to a broader audience beyond the traditional electronic gaming customer. And our, our New content will be delivered um, as of today, and uh, we our aim is to deliver um, a new content provider um, every quarter. Um, at some point, we're also going to be reintroducing account-based play. We're working through the details of that with Factor at the moment, but we want we believe that players will be engaged further with uh, marketing and bonusing features and player wallets will be reactivated to allow for seamless transactions across gaming venues and tour funds. Last week, you can look forward to the continued marketing support of PhilWeb and the eGames Network, even at the venue level. Um, I think I've got a bunch of other speakers who will be talking more about the marketing specifics, but if you just want to summarize all those slides which I just went, went through, really, uh, when, you, when you talk to anyone in Phil Web, always demand from them that you want to expect more and you want your players to expect more as well. And so the question that you should ask them is what can we deliver that's more for you? Thank you very much. As you can see. 
see or contact. Uh, because of the, the clients that we have so far, we are trying to reach the 1 billion round uh, mark per month. And of course, like the five mariachis, we really enjoy in our free time the spicy food and the tequila. In conclusion, our focus is to create high quality games. This is why, up to this point, we have launched 84 slots, 12 table games, and 10 video poker. Um, basically, per year, we create around 10 new, uh, new games, uh, all featuring unique graphics and sounds. Uh, because we use HTML5 only, uh, and as Dennis mentioned in this, we are not using uh, any kind of flash. Our games will gonna be able to be supported on desktop and mobile. We have various theme for our slots, um, and I can say that our initial 20 uh, slots that we launched are very familiar to the classic RTG slots. So now let's take a look at some of our games and how we, we made them.
So uh, when the when the game it's loading, okay, uh, you're gonna see the faster speed of the game loading itself, and also each game we're gonna have their own background. This means that from a marketing perspective, uh, Viva Las Vegas are gonna be able to promote different promotions on the margin of the game. Clicking the X immediately returns the players to the game log. Okay. So now let's look, uh, let's take a look at the table games. Of course, here are the most famous ones from Roulette, Blackjack, and also Baccarat. Uh, in Baccarat case, we have two uh, versions of it, the standard one and the zero commission one, which I heard is pretty, that's a pretty popular request through your players. And of course, the last step, are, we have 10 video poker games, which each one of them has a five hand variant from one to five uh, to 10, 50, and 100. So let's take a look a bit at some of our games uh, that you can also try at the terminal behind you. the happy theme five mariachis which as you can see they have rich graphics and interesting sounds which are going to keep the players interested and wanting to play more and also discover the up to three unique gaming features that these slots provide I also want to show you a sneak peek into the future. 
Uh, we have uh, another new content, and this is one of the slots that we're going to be available at some point in the future after Papua, we're going to approve it. Uh, which is called Presto, and of course this game has up to five unique features that the, that the players are going to enjoy as well. Uh, this is interesting because every countdown will gonna guarantee the trigger of a special feature in the game. cost of the PC, it's the cost of the Windows license or the Windows license compliance. We're always worried that somebody from uh, BSA will come in and check our licenses. And even Pancor uh, themselves are very conscious about operator compliance uh, of the uh, Windows license. And in order to support the desktop, we have to run a wired network connection to a uh, network cabinet. Uh, and if we quantify all of that, um, the cost per seat to sustain a, a, a gaming uh, terminal becomes fairly high. You're talking of a, of a uh, PC computer, you're talking of a wired connection, which uh, when we cost it out, uh, that's typically maybe uh, 5,000 pesos per, per computer because that's two network nodes, right? The cost of license and so on. And so what we're looking at here is uh, very subtly, but the ability to deliver games through Wi-Fi within your venue. You know? uh, uh, and so saving on the CapEx cost for a wired connection, uh, the, the games, because they're running on HTML5, uh, load very quickly. Uh, uh, and so, and because it runs on HTML5, uh, one of the things that I do invite you to take a look at at the back they are the same games also currently running on an uh, on a tablet, on an iPad. Okay, uh, and so the same game content is available on the computer. The same game content is available on an iPad uh, or or an Android tablet. And from there, we can get to vary the gaming experience. Uh, one of the things that Philwell has to work with with Backport 
uh, is to try to be able to convince them that we can accurately account for gameplay taking place on a gaming tablet within a venue and that uh, there, is no, there is no gaming that can take place outside of that venue. Because then it will allow me to uh, expand my game offerings without having to worry about whether I have space. If I'm, if I'm already an electronic bingo operator and I already have 75 machines on my floor and I'm trying to figure out, okay, uh, revenue per terminal on the bingo side, 1,000 pesos terminal win per day, uh, I want to be able to do e-games at 2,000 pesos terminal win per day. Can I offer this to my customers? But maybe the solution might just be rather than having to figure out how to implement a terminal, a gaming terminal at three square meters per seat, then it might just mean having to have sofas or lounge chairs or a bar setup and have a gaming tablet there so that as people may want to relax, uh, then it's very easy to deploy. All we need is maybe the Android tablet, five, seven thousand pesos, a wireless connection which will cost us near, uh, nearly nothing. But with that the ability to deliver casino gaming, uh, a casino gaming experience without the traditional cost of uh, setting up uh, the uh, gaming table. So, so that, that's one of the very, very subtle things uh, that, that we're trying to do to, uh, uh, to shift the, uh, the market. The second item, and it's a good thing that Alan uh, uh, highlighted that, was uh, the feature trigger countdown, wherein uh, the, 